focus on your breath, and tell yourself you're not going to think about anything else right now. Of course, when you tell yourself that, other thoughts will come up, but you don't have to follow them. This is an important distinction to make. There are thoughts that just come up of their own from past karma. And then there are the thoughts you add to them, the, the salt and the pepper you add, and the extra ingredients, thinking that you're going to get some good food out of these things. And then they just kind of turn into something else. And then you keep on coming up with more ones and getting more involved. Well, the mind needs a chance to rest, so just have it rest with one thing, the breath coming in, the breath going out. If we ran motors the way we ran our minds, they would have broken down a long time ago. We just keep thinking, thinking, thinking. Very little chance to rest and get our bearings and have the mind gain some strength. So here's your chance to get the mind strong again. It's like looking after a motor. You've got to stop it every now and then, make sure that the oil is there, make sure all the parts are in good working order. Or to make another comparison, it's like having a knife. If you keep just using the knife again and again and again, it's going to get dull. If you don't stop and sharpen it, you still use it to cut at things, but you cut at them. You don't cut through them. If you want the knife to really cut through things, you have to sharpen it and take good care of it. Bathe it with oil, stick it in, the, in its sheath. And then when the time comes to use it, you're ready for it. Just one chop and there you are. So make sure that you have time to sharpen the mind, give it a time to rest, and take it away from its work, and take good care of it. So that when the time comes that you really do have to use it, and you have to put it to work, okay, it's ready. It's sharp. It's clean. Ready to go. That way you don't have to be afraid it's going to get rusty, and then in addition to being dull, it's going to be rusty, and it's going to give you diseases if you cut things with it. So make sure you take time to take care of the mind every day, every day. We have time to brush our teeth every day. We should have time to look after the mind every day as well, because it's so much more important. If you lose your teeth, you can get false teeth. But if you lose your mind, what are you going to do? You've got to take good care of what you got. 